hello guys welcome back in today's video we are making tapioca this is one of the street food i enjoyed while growing up and this is the way i enjoy it with pepper pomo so let's get into the video for my ingredients i have my butterscotch flavor salt and my star ingredient the tapioca itself coconut my whole coconut and my milk you can use condensed milk sugar for my pepper for more I have this rudo and onion grated sliced onions for garnishing and my pomo that I've soaked into with hot water rather for five minutes then I start by washing my tabioca with water I just rinse it just like you rinse your other raw food before cooking so I remove the two ways to check it raw I rinse it for about two to three times then after I went in to add water to soak it I soak it for about two hours this one soak faster there are some within one hour it's or oh, it's best you even to clean the money it's best you soak overnight so that it can give you the best feel so i was adding more water so after soaking it i set it aside then i went ahead by grating my coconuts i remove it out of the shell so i'll grate some this is what I'm doing here. Why I will blend some so that I can get that coconut milk as that I will use. So this is me blending some so that I can get the coconut milk. This was one of my favorite street food while growing up, and even my mom made it most times in the weekend when everybody is around in the morning. So I'll just remove i'll just sieve out the the shafts and the milk i use my spoon to press it out then after i'll set it aside please if you watch my video to this point please give my video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe this is the coconut milk we got so we'll start by putting a our pots on fire and adding enough water these are about two cups of water into my pot and i'll bring it to boil then i'll add in my butter scotch it's best you use two tablespoons but because my butter scotch has finished it was the last one that i use a tablespoon then after it has boiled again you know, i was not recording after it was boiling the water was boiling so i had in my tabioca into the water and i start to turn it you have to keep turning this to get the best result after turning for a while i'll go in with my coconut milk then I continue to stay. Now it's looking watery. You are on the right part. Just continue stirring till you get a very thick concern. Not too thick. So just continue stirring. So I don't know if anyone, have any one of us not tasted this? If you have not, you are really missing. I even cook this in large quantity for event and the way i cook it they love it like even time i make this for events around me like people that knows that around me within few within few hours it got finished that is how nice it is and i love making it for me it is easy it's not stressful at all so you can see it has changed now it has changed it's getting thicker just continue stirring continue stirring it continue stirring it you can see that consistency has changed now it's boiling 
then I had in a teaspoon of salt and continue to stir. Now it's almost fresh. You can see the bubbling is very not because it's not thick. Then I had in my sugar. I had three tablespoons of sugar. Then I stir it all together to incorporate everything. Our tapioca is almost ready. So this is my grated coconut. I will add the grated coconut into it and voila, our tabuka is ready. You can have it with anything of your choice, with akara or anything. But we are going to have this with peppered pomo because when I was growing up, this is how the young, that woman that sell you then, this is how she said it to us is that pepper pomo or peppered meat but most time it's pomo so i started by putting oil into my pan i had in my sliced onions i had my curry and my thyme and stir it all together just to build in flavor please if you watch my video to this point do well to give you a thumbs up so that youtube can recommend my view please help this little channel to grow then I'm going to add my scotch bonnet and my onions I've grated. That is my rodo and onions. I've grated it, then I'll stir it all together. Then I'll go in with the rest of my spices and my seasoning. I add in my salt. Adding my ginger and garlic powder. This is one I'm using for this video. Then I've had a season, just one cube of my seasoning cube. Then I stir it all together just to incorporate all the seasoning. Then I'll add a little bit of water because the pepper is dry like there's no juice so just give it a little bit of juice then i'll pour in my pomo and cook this on a low heat so i'm putting this on a low heat because i want the juice the pepper to enter into the pomo i stir it also that everything can incorporate well that's why i continue to stir so that is not that some pomo will not have the pepper coated with it so i stir it well and i reduce my cover it and reduce my fire like to, not to the most lowest but to the lowest so that i can just cook and i cook this for 10 to 15 minutes so this is after 15 minutes i came to check and as you can see it is frying all the water has dry and this tastes so delicious <laughs> this plenty for more and finish within how many hours that's how good it was there i garnish it with my slice the only is have sliced i garnish with it is and our pomo is ready Whoa. Please tell me what you prepare this for more with. Is this with garlic, with cold and chilled water? Or what exactly will you prepare this for more with? Just let me know in the comment section. So our food is ready. So I take it off the heat. Then I serve my tabioca. You can see that it's more thicker compared to when we finish cooking it it gets more thicker and this is the constant is giving and i had in my pepper from on top of it this combo is fire thank you for watching